Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Before we get started, I want to say thank you so much to K Jewelers for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, so as we all know, the holiday season is right around the corner, which is crazy. This year has absolutely flown by. Also, if you guys know me, you know that I'm a big gift giver and personally, my love language is giving gifts and thinking of thoughtful and meaningful gifts to give to people that I love. K Jewelers has got your back. They have gifts for everybody in your life, all different price points, all different styles, so you are bound to find something for everyone. In case you guys didn't know, K is also a full service jeweler and they have personalization, engraving, and customization to make sure that you get the perfect gift for the person in your life. I picked out these absolutely stunning earrings for Kaylee. She does not watch my videos ever. Please don't send this to her also. But Kaylee doesn't watch my videos, so she will never see this, but I got these for her from K Jewelers for her Christmas gift this year. These, when I saw, just absolutely screamed her how, first of all, stunning is just the box in general. And look at these gorgeous earrings. She's gonna love them so much. But if you guys are stumped on gift ideas, do not worry. Kay actually has a holiday gift guide. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. You guys can click the link, shop now, find a gift for everybody in your life. Thank you again to Kay for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get on with the vlog. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I am still waking up this morning. I'm about to get to tennis. I haven't played all week. I had to move my normal Monday lesson to the end of the week, which is Friday today, because my mom was in town. So it's been a minute since I last played. Hopefully I still got it. We're doing tennis and then I'm going to the gym right after and doing some weightlifting. And yeah, it's gonna be a fabulous day. I'm waking up, let's get to it. Hi guys, okay, finished my lesson. I was definitely a little rusty and I'm really tired today. I was having some trouble like running around a lot. Honestly, I was getting really fatigued, but I got through it. Now I'm having some breakfast. I'm having one of these, it's a protein wafer. It looks like an ice cream sandwich of some sort or like a wafer cookie. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna eat this. It's like dessert for breakfast. We got our cardio in and let's go lift some weights, pump some iron people. Woo, then I can go rest. <laughs> okay. 10? 15. 15. Over back. Oh god. I need 10 and then we got the reverse. I know it doesn't look like much, but it hurts. And rest. Ow, that hurt. Yep. Whew. <laughs> Get it. 10. Good. Love it. Oh man. All right. All right. Hi guys, it's dark now. I'm in a parking garage. You can barely see me. That's better. Okay, I just stopped over at Air One, grabbed a few random groceries and things for the weekend, and got myself a Haley Bieber smoothie, which I pretty much already finished. It's very dark, and I'm gonna drive home, and I'll do the haul when I get back. Bye. Hi guys, I'm a sweaty mess, but I'm home, and I'm gonna do my grocery haul for you guys, the stuff that I got. Oh gosh, at the store. <laughs> it's heavy. First up, I need to eat more greens. Specifically, my dermatologist told me that my gut is kind of having some problems right now, especially because of the fact that I'm off birth control. My cortisol levels are off. I'm not a doctor. Please do not take my uh, advice at all, but I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. I've been having some cheek acne here and here, and she let me know that that's normal when you're getting off birth control for the first few months. Your body's kind of trying to regulate itself again. So she said to help with the cortisol levels. Specifically, she told me broccoli or just green so I got lots of broccoli lots of kale and I'm gonna cook these up and eat them I think I'm gonna saute this and I think I'm going to blanch and then saute these after I wanted to try this new flavor of Olipop it's crisp apple I love anything apple honestly I'm gonna try it now I love anything apple apple scent which is so funny is I don't love <laughs> apples as a fruit I'll eat them I like a Fuji apple but that's really it but apple candles apple drinks apple pretty much apple chips I like let me try Oh, I don't know how I feel. It smells like apple, it tastes like apple juice hitting your mouth, and then it has a weird aftertaste. I'm not sure, this might have to grow on me. I'm gonna give it right now six and a half out of 10, but we will see if I end up liking it more in the future. Between Olipop and Poppy, I'm a bigger fan of Poppy personally, I think they taste a little better. Oh, I've been seeing people talking about this coconut cult 
probiotic coconut yogurt. Apparently this is great. You eat like a tablespoon of it in the morning and it really helps with your gut health. It's got prebiotics in it. I already take a prebiotic probiotic capsule, but I wanted to try this out and see how it is. Apparently it's delicious. I got the chocolate flavor and then I also found this one called vanilla toffee. So that sounds amazing. Super cute little jars and I want to try. Actually, let's try now. I'm, I'm curious. I heard that they're a bit of an acquired taste. I'm feeling chocolate today, so let's try this one. Start with a couple tablespoons and progress from there. Oh, it looks good. It smells chocolatey. I like it. It's coconutty, and then it's got chocolate, obviously, and then it has like a sour cultured fermented kind of flavor. If you like sour, I think you'll like this. Mm, better than I was expecting. I was a little nervous. Yummers. All right, got that. Oh, I just needed to get a bunch of new seasonings. I got parsley, paprika. I needed peppercorns. I've never bought my seasonings at Erwan before, and I have to say I was surprised that they were actually less expensive than I would have normally expected, so that's why I picked them up there. <laughs> oh, I got white sesame seeds. I actually just have never had plain white sesame seeds, and I think they're so pretty for plating and things, so I just grabbed these. I got a regular cream cheese for Cal and a dairy-free cream cheese for myself. I got some chicken. I got some chicken wings because I've been really dying to have chicken wings. I'm just gonna throw them in the air fryer, and then just some chicken breasts. Nothing crazy. I got some new coconut whip to put into my smoothie. So yummy. Got some burrito size yet they Tortillas. I got three different salad dressings because I'm actually completely out of salad dressings. These are truly some of the best salad dressings I've ever tried before, and they're just so tasty. I got the balsamic vinaigrette. I got the pepita lime. This has pumpkin seeds, cilantro, lime juice, water, olive oil, mustard, coriander, cumin. Sorry, Cal's vacuuming. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, we've got the pepita lime, and then I also got, what is this one? This is called the detox dressing. It's apple cider vinegar, olive oil, ginger, honey, Dijon mustard. Like, this is pretty much what I make at home from scratch when I make a salad dressing so it's easy to already have done. Last few things, I got some fingerling potatoes because these just look so good and they're so giant and I love fingerling potatoes. They're my favorite variety of potato. For my own lunch, I made myself a little plate at the hot bar. I did the salmon cakes, which I never tried and I wanna eat one right now. Should not use my fingers. Mmm. I did salmon cakes, bok choy, and then this like Persian cucumber, avocado, tomato salad. I'm gonna heat these up in the air fryer, hold on. Okay, air fryer's going. I am so ravenous today. Bagels, sourdough bread, a dozen brown and blue eggs. These are my favorite. They taste so rich, like the yolk is orange. It's amazing. I got a few avocados, and then I just got some spring rolls, some shrimp spring rolls for a snack later. And then I saw this, I've never tried it. They're orange chicken. So that's everything that I got. I'm gonna put it all away, enjoy my lunch, and catch a Soon. Hello, little poosh who went viral on TikTok. This one did. Cal just came home and surprised me with the weekly crumble lineup. I don't know what's what. This is uh, fr the frosted one, chocolate chip, dulce de leche, a s'mores one, it looks like. This one looks amazing. Mmm. <gasps> so good. Get in there. I think I want to try the chocolate one first. Ooh, that looks so yummy. <gasps> yeah. We got the chocolate. I've just been hanging out all day. You're gonna like this one. Yeah. Mm, super rich chocolatey flavor. All right, here's this one, like a raspberry. Ooh, like a raspberry oatmeal. Thoughts? Good, it's like those sugar cookies you get from the grocery store. But better, because I don't like those. <laughs> this one, always a fave. The frosted with the almond is always so good. What mm. is this, like a strawberry jam? I think it's like a strawberry oatmeal maybe. It's good, I like it. I heard this one's good. There's so much sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's got caramel, it's like a cinnamon sugar cookie, caramel, and then a cream cheese frosting. I'm full, loved them all. That was my taste test, sorry I didn't rate them, bye. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, upstairs, doing my makeup. I feel like my thoughts currently are not coming out properly because I don't know what's going on. Do you see this? I don't know what's going on right now. I think it might be my lack of caffeine for the day. So I made myself a matcha because it's 6.30 p.m. I was getting tired and we've got cheesecake to eat at the Cheesecake Factory. No, but in all seriousness, I feel like I need some caffeine. So I made myself a matcha. I may be up at 3 a.m. this morning wondering why I did that, but for now I'm feeling good about my decision. Tonight we are going out with Ollie and Chesco for dinner and there's something that I wanted to talk to you guys for so long about, but I honestly always forget. And then once I post the vlog, I'm like, I forgot to say it again. I'll do it in the next one. Then I forget. So, can you tell the matcha's kicking in? Obviously you guys know every friend in my life. I'm super, super open with you guys about everyone in my life, all my relationships with everybody. You guys know all those sorts of things. And you always know like the backstories of my friendships and I'm just, I'm a talker as we all know. So I feel like I'll give a lot of information that you might not necessarily need, but I feel like I should tell you. But I have to say, I feel like the one friend that I constantly forget 
forget to give you guys a backstory on who just kind of popped up in the vlogs like maybe a year ago or so and I get comments all the time like who is that person like wait who where did he come from how do you know him how are you guys friends he just kind of came out of nowhere and then I said nothing about it it's Chesco. So, little backstory. Apologies that it took me so long to tell you. It's also just funny to me because every time I post a vlog with Chesco, the comments come in like, Rem, who is that? Like, how do you know him? Who is this character? And we think it's so funny because Ollie has this inside joke that uh, he likes to call himself the cast of Rem Life, like as if this is a, a TV show when it's obviously not, it's my life, but I just think it's so funny. So, Chesco is my friend who I actually met, uh, I think it was 2019. I want to say 2018, 2019 at a YouTube summit. Like a YouTube threw on like a convention essentially for a bunch of creators. He worked at YouTube. He was on the social team. I got a random text from a random number to come. Now that I'm saying this, it sounds kind of scary. I got a random text that was like, hi, where are YouTube? If you come to this hotel room, because we're all like staying in one hotel, uh, we'd love to do some like social stuff with you. And I was like, sure, I'm free. I'll go. So I went up to the hotel room and Chesco was in there with a bunch of other YouTube employees. And he and I just like really hit it off. We became friends. He lived in New York at the time and then every time we come to LA for work we would meet up we'd go to Soul Cycle together we do like fun little things here and there but we didn't really have a chance to get too close because he lived there and I lived here but about a year ago he moved to LA and that's when we were able to really like bond and become better friends and then I introduced him to Ollie and he and Ollie really just hit it off because they have a ton of similar interests the exact same sense of humor and now we've just been buds ever since so that is the history as to how I know Chesco just so everybody knows because everyone's always asking and yes I'm gonna leave to go pick them up in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna finish up my makeup really fast. Oh, look at these little lashes I'm gonna throw on too. These are the NYX Jumbo Lash. If you can see, they're super, super, super natural. I feel like that's gonna be really pretty. I'm just gonna, honestly, you know what? I'm gonna throw some bronzer on my eyelids and use this as a shadow. This is my favorite thing to do when I want a super natural, easy makeup look. Just throw the same bronzer that you use on your cheeks, on your eyelids, blend it out. And that's literally all you need. Super light, super easy. All right, I'll see you in like five minutes. Okay, we're ready for a cozy Friday night dinner out. I feel cute, but cozy, a little put together, but like, you know, not too put together. This is my drama queen sweatshirt, zip up. It has come to my attention that I have completely overreacted. I've got on just some black leggings and some little platform Ugg boots. And that is the look. I did the braids again because hair, I'll wash tomorrow. Let's go, woo! Guys, I picked up Chesco and we were driving down the street and we saw, there she is! We found a stray kitty. She's behind the car. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where'd she go? Kitty, kitty, kitty. I don't know what to do. She was here. Maybe she went home. Oh, maybe she went in here. Yeah. She definitely crossed the street and she's safe. Yeah, she went in here. Also, Chesco's here. Hi. I just told them all about who you are. Oh the star. I just wanted to make sure she crossed the street okay. All right, let's go to Cheesecake Factory. We got mini burgers. Oh, Look what we got. How many layers is that? That's like it's at least like many. seven. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Last night after dinner, we went back to Chesco's place, started watching Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, which I forgot how good it is. We watched for maybe 30 minutes and then I was about to fall asleep, so I drove myself home, came home and slept for 10 hours. I am up, it's Saturday. We've got a not busy day, so I'm gonna see where the day takes me, but I'm up, it's Saturday. I'm in my workout clothes because I'm gonna go work out a little bit later, but for now, I got something very exciting I can't wait to show you. You guys. You guys know I love a kitchen appliance and I've been wanting one of these for so long. It's a Japanese toaster. So basically what's really cool about this, it's like a normal toaster slash toaster oven kind of situation, but you know how normally when you put something in the toaster, it gets very dry. This is special because you add a little baby cup of water. This little cup of water that it comes with, you throw that in there and it helps to steam the inside while making the outside crispy. You can do like bread, English muffins, sourdough bread, pizza, bagels, whatever it may be. And I just thought it was really cool and Cal and I I are big toaster fans, so wanted to try it out. Ah! Cal's gonna insert his bread. He's doing a loaf of sourdough baguette that I had from a video that I didn't use, so there we go. And then we're gonna fill up the water. A teacup for a baby mouse, right in top. We put it on the little bread setting. How cute is this? Bread setting. It's at three to four minutes. You like it extra toasty, Cal, or just medium toasty? Medium toasty. Medium They're toasty. Brown. There we go. Toast up, my little breads. It's like in a in a tanning bed. <laughs> the bread's in a steam room. Oh my god. It looks like the most perfect bread ever. They look like little eggs in an incubator. Cal made me eggs. Broke both the yolks. What did I tell you guys though? That the yolks are so orangey and delicious. It beeped. Oh, 
<laughs> I did it for a second too long. Ooh, that was some ASMR. Do it again. Morning routine. I'm up. I'm gonna start with my greens. I've been doing a scoop of this Bloom Nutrition greens in the morning. This is the mango flavor. It tastes really good actually. I've tried some greens powder before that I didn't love and it was a little hard to drink. This is really easy to drink. It's really yummy. I definitely don't eat enough greens during the day and I know I need to eat just like actual greens but I feel like this can't be bad to drink also. Alright. Greens powder. Oh I should like whip it. Oh your bread's done. Ugh. It looks gorgeous. I redid it, but with a minute less. Look at this toasty bread. Also, he's still eating the burnt ones, just so you know, but I wanted to redo it and try again. <gasps> Amazing! It smells so good. I'm gonna take a little bite. Mmm! I think in Korean, it's like dorgy dorgy. Like, it's still like soft on the inside, like squishy, but crunchy on the out. That bread is fantastic. Yeah. It's so good. Okay, I am taking a gluten-free bagel. It looks like there's cinnamon in it. There's not. I'm gonna toast it in our little toaster again. Okay, bagel is toasting. Definitely need to whisk it. And it does taste better when it's extra cold, so I'm gonna put lots of ice in. Ice, greens, really is good. The mango makes a difference. All right, we're gonna do our prebiotic coconut yogurt. All right, I need you to gonna try my here. yogurt? It's really sour, just so you know. You like it? Sour in like a good way. Right? It's so good. All right, bagels toasted. I put on some garlic sauce or garlic spread underneath. Avocado. These are the eggs Cal made me. Green juice. A delicious breakfast. Taste test. Mmm. The bagel's still soft. <gasps> the garlic sauce makes a big difference. Wow. 10 out of 10. Hello guys, breakfast was fantastic. I'm gonna use that toaster a few more times and then I'll give you a full review and a few vlogs later after I've tested it out fully. So far, first impressions, love it. But on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.